Welcome to Of Dice and Friends, a D&D live play game with me and some of my favorite cosplayers. I'm RPG Kyle and I will be your dungeon master for this leg of our adventure. Now I will have the players introduce themselves. Hi, I'm Dan. Oh! <laughs> wow! I knew that was gonna happen. This, this is Courtney. She goes by Spooky.Fay or whatever on Instagram. You can follow her if you want. We should have just went in alphabetical order, to be honest, starting with That's Amanda. That's a lot of <laughs> okay, Courtney, you have to introduce me now. Oh, this is Dan Morash. Uh, his Instagram is Dan Morash Cosplay. And he's really rad. Oh, and Thank your you. characters, too, please. Yeah, you go. My name is Vue. I'm a Lytheri elf warlock, and also I'm a werewolf. And my character's name is Garth. Uh, he is a cleric, and his race is Triton. I'm Amanda. I go by Witchy Brew <laughs> on the world of the internet. Um, I play a character called Olga, and she is a half orc bard. Barbarian? Barbarian. <laughs> yeah. Who knows? There's only three, three left. I am Mike, and my Instagram <laughs> is Hammy73, and I also am playing in this game, and my character is a very fancy boy who is a spoiler vampire, uh, other spoiler cleric, and is, did I say the part where he's fancy? Yes. Fancy and that's boy. it, that's all there is to him. He, he like a drink of the blood. He like a drink of the blood. Um, I'm Pedro. Um, my Instagram is Pedro and Ray. I am a zombie rogue, and his name is uh, Rose. So, yeah. Hey, my name is Paul. I go by Mr. Paul Tran. Uh, I am a elf warlock. Yay! Okay, thank you guys for introducing we yourselves. Yeah, we did it. We made it through introductions. One of the hardest parts of the game. Okay. Um, so, I know we've played before, but we're kind of picking it up from here as a new saga, so bear with me. Um, okay, here we go. DM mode. Today, we invite you along with us on a brand new saga. We find ourselves... In a twisted story of mystery and intrigue, during a time of religious unrest, punctuated by a rumored end of times, brought upon the world and its inhabitants, possibly by fate, or powers beyond individual control. Recently, inhabitants of the realm have been gathering under the auspices of their core beliefs to prepare for the coming days of uncertainty. Our gazes turn to the far northwestern corner of the map of Faerun, along the Sword Coast North. The region, stretching from Waterdeep in the south to the spine of the world and beyond in the north, flashing through events of a recent past, our adventurers find themselves on the precipice, literally and figuratively, of a new era in their stories. After spending about half a month in conscripted service with an encampment of Aurel, the Frost Maiden Goddess. Our focus breaks through the clouds and slows to an icy pace, shivering down onto the cold and unforgiving mountain range that houses the Great Worm Cavern. We come to meet the gaze of six sets of eyes. Perched on the highest peak of the Apex Mountain, each character stares into the gray haze of a sky that blends the pinks and oranges of the golden hour with the coming frosty weather of that evening each with motivation still unknown to either themselves or their party members. One set of eyes in particular, a blue-gray pair, mirroring the hair that swirls around from the mountain gusts, narrow nervously on the horizon line. Her head instinctually rolls upward as if following the trajectory of an arrow shot from the sun towards its counterpart. When her eyes catch the misty faint visage of her sought celestial being, a surge of emotion pulses through her consciousness. It's so visceral that her vision of the real world, world darkens to be replaced by pitch blackness. In front of you, Miyuk, two yellow ochre eyes surrounded by red veins full of bloodlust slide open. The pupils contract, 
resembling two parenthetical knife wounds. A deep, guttural rumble is not only heard, but felt from within your Lithari frame. In a deep, feral voice, you hear, The hunt is nigh, and this piece of you belongs to me. You have given in to my desires many times before, youngling, but never have you been close enough for me to taste the blood of your carnage. I will run you tonight and drink the warm fruits of your labor. Feed me, and I will, in turn, feed you with more power than you could ever hope to consume. When the sun casts its final shadow on the dirt, give me your body and reap the spoils that will come from my embrace upon your nape. The yellow eyes slide backward, and the blackness is replaced by what seems now a blinding gray haze. Warmth on your shoulder surprises you as you look and see the hand of your half-orc companion, Olga, who's trying to get your attention. Okay, so you guys are on a mountain about 2,000 feet above the southern sea level. You're all perched on the highest peak, and you know that once you drop down about 15 feet um, and choose a direction to go, your vantage point will drastically change because basically from where you are right now on the very mountaintop, you can see out in every direction from the mountain and the clouds right now are just allowing you to see um, into every direction. Okay. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> that, that was a good intro. Yeah, I know. That was really well written. Thank you. Very intense. Uh, fuck. So, <laughs> so do we know that <clears throat> something's weird with Miyuk, or does she, is she just like, that was just like... No, she zoned out there. for like a split second. Okay, got it. Are you still here? Are you still here, Miyuk? Where'd you go? Hey, hey, what's up? Um... Hey, hey guys. Hey, what's up, doing? guys? <laughs> hey. Um, did, you, did you go somewhere? I do that sometimes before I have a big match in the ring. I understand. <laughs> so we're we're outside of the cave. Um, do you guys? What we've all been begging for for months. Yeah. <laughs> You guys want to get further away? <laughs> you guys want to like keep going? I am Kyle, definitely what, down to go down. What are like, are we on an open path or like, are there multiple paths? Literally right now, picture yourself at the, it's a, an atypical <clears throat> mountain in the fact that like it comes to an exact like peak and you guys are at the very top. So you could go in any direction you wish. Um, whichever way you look, I can give you a description of what's off in the distance. Um, just tell me north, northeast, okay. east, southeast. Well, what is what is east of us? Okay, directly east of you um, is the path of a snowy valley. Uh, it leads out in the easternly direction, and you can catch like the faintest green of a wood just beyond an expanse of frosty hills. Um, okay. And picture that faint green of wood is at the horizon line for you, so the very farthest you can see. Before that are some icy hills, and then before that you're going to have to descend down into a valley. It looks like it's a pretty... <laughs> looks like it's a pretty steep path, but not impossible. <laughs> I'm getting you okay. a new chair for Christmas. <laughs> that's Marcus's. <laughs> oh boy. Um, so okay, so that's that's east. Yeah. Um, I'm wondering what's directly west then, because that sounds like it's more like colder territory. Anything less cold. Yeah. <laughs> so I gave you directly east. <laughs> Direct. <laughs> <laughs> Directly west is the Tin Man from uh, The Wizard of Oz. Um, <laughs> so directly west are huge snowbanks that populate this shallow slope down into another mountain range, and that's as far as you can see. So picture some really high snowbanks and then more mountains off to the west. Off to okay. the left of that, so just southwest, you can see a valley river that flows away from the base. Okay. Hmm. We have good luck with rivers. Here, 
when you ask east and whatnot, I'm gonna give you the the other directions as well. How about I just describe yeah. all of them? Yeah. Yeah, all just right. all those points. Give us our you. options. You're all looking in every direction and you all see all of this. So to the very north of you uh, are several smaller peaks with plateaus that stretch out vastly and just beyond at the farthest reaches of your vision you can see the drop off of the cliffs that hold back the rugged glacier where the frost giant settlements meet the endless ice sea. It looks like moderate... You don't want to go... Okay, you don't want to go that way. So, northeast... Um, you're not quite sure about this area, you've never been to it, but it looks like a steep decline down the mountain um, you're on, and it leads to a valley with a base of another mountain chain. Snowy valley stretches out towards the east. Um, southeast, so you already asked east. East is where that valley continues till you see the green. Southeast. A manageable path down through the snow and dirt um, through some sparsely populated trees that you can see eventually grows into a large congregation prefacing the western edge of the seemingly large forest. South is um, an equally manageable path down. It looks like it's been traveled before. There's a sparsely recognizable dirt path to the base of the mountain where a dense forest springs forth and meets the mountain. Um, southwest, less foliage, more snow, um, it's where you can see the river on your, uh, the valley, it's a valley where a river goes through it, and the only place you haven't asked about is northwest, and northwest are peaks of ice and gray clouds similar to the one you're on, and that reaches out into the gray cold. It's a sharp descent. The, the valley sounds nice. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. The valley. River. There's one. The valley. The valley with the river. Okay. Yep. Yeah, I vote, I vote on that. Okay. So, um, that's straight. That is straight south. Straight south. Kierkin wants to go to the forest, but he's willing to go to the river. Uh, so, the south does go to the forest. Actually, no, wait. The south goes to a heavy forest. South east goes down to the side of that forest and southwest goes down to the river valley should we should we go southwest okay yeah, yeah. i'm cool with that you guys have a bit of a way to travel anyways yeah um so if you go to the southwest the differences between the south and the southwest south is going to take you down to that forest um, it, it is a path that's been traveled before. There's some recognizable dirt uh, markings. The south of west, it's going to be more of a snowy path. <laughs> Southwest is going to be more of a snowy path, um, but it is met by that river and a valley. Yeah. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Yep. I'm so, yep. I, I say we head that way, gang. Okay. Valley River. Yeah. It, Let's go. If you want, you can probably make a survival check or a nature check to gather more information on these, if you wish. Okay, I'll try a survival check. Okay. Go ahead and roll a d20. Oh, my good at? Ooh I'm very good at survival. I got 18 with my modifier. <laughs> For which one? Thanks. For survival, sorry. Okay. I'm not so, good at either of those. I feel like Kirkin is like, oh yeah, that's like a forest, right? <laughs> There's a tree. <laughs> um, and then uh, Garth, when you look out, you can actually see, considering you've been to both the main entrance and the entrance that went out into that forest the one time you guys were attacked by some werewolf type things, you realize that if you do go southwest, you'll be traveling straight down to the entrance of the main cave, essentially, or the main cave entrance. So that's, you say if we, if we do go southwest? If you go southwest, the path that you guys were looking at and decided to go down, you would end up basically coming out on top of that main cave entrance. However, if you go south, um, it's an equally manageable path, and it's been traveled before, but you do recognize that that's going to take you to the entrance uh, that pushes out into the Lurkwood Forest, um, 
which is that place that the 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 the, the werewolves were coming from. However, you also can see that the forest is big enough that you could skirt to either side of it and completely miss the entrance without anyone noticing you. Okay, I would like to go, I would like to share that information with the group. Okay. So, shared, um, and I would like to propose that we do that kind of like in between, because I don't want to go near like right in eyesight of either entrance for okay. a while until we can get a good distance away. Sure. Everybody cool with that? Yep. Yep. Okay. Let's do that. So you guys are heading south, right? Mm hmm. Okay. And how long of a descent do you think it'll be from the mountain? Um, it's not the biggest mountain in the world. It is 2,000 feet above sea level, but even as far as mountains go, that's a pretty small mountain. Um, mm -hmm. Probably take you about two days to descend, maybe three, depending on the events that coincide with you guys going down the mountain. Okay. Okay. So if you had, um, if you're heading down south, you guys don't need to make an incredible survival check or anything. But go ahead and roll a survival check for me, everybody, or nature check if you have it. Seven, seventeen. Nineteen. Twenty-one on survival. Sixteen. Oh, 12. Okay. Did you say 7, Pedro? I think he said 11. Mm. 11. I'm not getting audio from him, are you guys? No, I'm not getting anything from Pedro. We made him, we made him mute. H hold up numbers. Hello? <laughs> yeah. Oh, there you go. <laughs> 11. 11, I, I knew it. <laughs> so... Uh, Reze and Paul, go ahead and take, uh, let's see... 15 points of damage. No, no, you each take, <laughs> you each take one point of frost damage as you guys descend. It's, you guys are descending in basically hour increments is what I'm going to look at it for, uh, for now. So oh. you guys go for about an hour, you're passing by, um, it's pretty quiet, it's starting to get colder, um, you guys are trudging through snow. It's about knee height at the moment. Um, but so far, nothing out of the ordinary has happened. It is starting to get darker, though. Do you guys want to just keep going that path? This is all the dark vision, right? Huh? Yeah. I, yeah. This is all no, but, but I could uh, make it's some light. I could hold on to someone's like call or something do you trust um, me i'm i'm fine with trying to camp out for the night as long as we can like not be seen from any like campfire or anything we have but if you guys want to continue i'm cool with it i mean as long as we have a campfire because it's, it's only it's getting dark yeah yeah, we'll yeah let, let's keep going until it's like real real dark then we'll <laughs> make another decision you think within the hour the sun will completely go down okay perfect yeah, let's one more. Through. Let's do another hour's trek. Okay, go ahead and make one more survival check for me. We're gonna die. And mute. Natural roll 20. Ooh. 22. 21. You guys are fucking Nine. bear grills. <laughs> <laughs> we're getting these good high numbers when it doesn't Right count. now. <laughs> now. <laughs> Later, we're gonna be like, and it's a three. <laughs> Every single one of you, like, you can find lizards under the rocks and pick them up and eat them and stuff. <laughs> You're so good at this. We've drank so much piss. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, wait, 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 wait. I can find food and water for up to five people per day. Are you gonna, Just... are you, are, did you want to take your turn? Um, you want to take the hour to do that? Um... You can, if that's what you would like to do. Yeah. I, I need to raise Would that, it. like, help our tea? Like, is that going to have a... Act I mean, it? are you going to do this at the end of our hour walk? Sure. Because we could take, like, a breather if you wanted to do that. I just don't know. Are we keeping track of that? Like, is everyone going to lose health if I don't do this? It's more the elements that are the issue. I have Song of Rest if there's people that are hurt. Okay. Yeah. I guess we can just... I, I won't bother fucking with that, but I think I just meant we don't have to drink piss. 
<laughs> I think that was sarcasm. Ooh, fancy. <laughs> Darn it. That's um, my secret cam. I enjoy it. <laughs> Reze and River, and I didn't get your guys' survival checks for the last one. Um, I got 19. Okay. I got 18. 18. Good. Damn, okay. Good to on this one. Yeah, you guys are all good. You guys don't fall subject to any of the elements. Um, Miyuk, I need you to go ahead and make your con roll for me. What's the other? Hold thing? up. Can we see that? Can we see that the moon is full? Um, probably not. I'm gonna say no because of the gray okay. uh clouds and the weather that's going on. Um, is that like something? That better. Is that something you would like to look for? No. Okay. Um, not not Kierkin anyway. Yeah. He doesn't give any shits. Yeah, no. Yeah. I was just if it was obvious. I think like if we saw a full moon, oh, I think we could all piece it together. But I think we're all focused on staying alive. Yeah, and basically from the top of the mountain peak, there was just that one moment of clarity that you could see through the clouds, and as soon as you guys started to descend, the clouds completely swallowed you guys up. Yum. Mm -hmm. Vor. Nom, 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 nom. What'd you get, Miyuk? Yeah, it's okay. Go ahead. I got a nine. Ooh. Okay, well. So, um, as you guys get through this next hour um you're trudging through who all is in front and who's in back normally what would be your marching order back uh, i'd probably be near the front i'd be in the middle front okay raising back back okay so olga you start to notice that Every once in a while, you see Miyuk start to, like, clench her fists and stuff. And it probably, it's probably not really that big of a deal considering it's so cold out here. But then she starts to twitch every once in a while. And once you get towards the end of that hour, as soon as you guys stop to kind of take a breather and check up on each other, Miyuk just darts. Runs away? Yeah, she heads towards the southeast. Okay, does everybody see that or just me? Just you. Okay, cool. Um, I literally just turn around and go, she ran. She ran, I don't know where she went, she ran. I thought she was having muscle cramps and I was about to tell her how my trainer says that you should eat bananas and then she just ran, she ran away. What do we do? Did, does she seem distressed? Yes, she did, a little bit. I mean, I don't know, us women are complicated. But I mean, she seemed a little stressed out. I don't know what time, should we go get her? Um, I, I think we should follow her, yes. <laughs> okay, let's go. And then I just start running. <laughs> so you guys all want to follow her? No. Oh, no. Yeah. <laughs> uh, oh, okay. I'll it's go with you. It's so dark yeah. to be doing that. Okay, so what is... I need to know what everybody's doing. <laughs> we uh, I'm, I'm staying put. I'm I, uh... Staying. I, I don't like straight up run, but I like kind of jog in the area and I'm like, Miyuk, where'd you go? Okay. Miyu. Um, <laughs> I'm not doing that. <laughs> so as a response, or, or you're not you're not calling for her, you just jog? No, jog. I am saying her name, oh, okay. but not, I'm not howling at her. <laughs> you, you hear- Yeah, probably I'm not. <laughs> I wasn't doing that. You hear just beyond your line of sight, Olga, if you're jogging um, in the direction that Miyuk darted, you hear the sound of like a and then some like the sound of like sloughing skin off of a body. Okay, and then cool, cool. Do that sound. After cool, cool. after you hear some bone breaking sounds and some nasty gargles, you hear the uh, ever popular howl at the moon. D do you want to do it, Miyuk, or you want me to do it? Oh, oh, oh! <laughs> I, I, like, go, hey, that was really impressive. <laughs> How are you feeling? Uh, okay. Um, Miyuk, go ahead and make a con roll. Or I'm just gonna say make your check from now on. And Wait, is she, like, is she, get. like, Remus Lupin? Werewolf, or is she like Jay the Black Werewolf? Right now, I'm more like Remus Lupin. Okay, cool, tight, cool, got it. Depending on this role, we'll see. 
What'd you get? Critical failure. Oh, fuck no. Okay, um, so... Olga, you are separated from everyone else. It would take everyone no! at least a turn no! to get up to you. Go oh. ahead and no! roll for initiative. No! Okay. What's your armor class? 18, and then I add constitution. Or what? I add my constitution to that, right? 21. We've only been playing for like no, 27 dex. weeks. Your dex. You um, have your dex here. I got 20, and my armor class is 13. Your armor class is 13? Yeah. Okay. So I just rolled an attack. Um, okay. Go ahead and roll for damage, Muke. I don't. Wait, can I do a move before, Not, I, before she attacks me? She's turning a- she got initiative on you, yeah. Okay. Unfortunately. 20. Fight me! Just kidding, don't. <laughs> <laughs> I rolled a, a d4 for damage, or am I rolling to hit, Kyle? Uh, I already rolled to hit, so you're damage. Four. Okay, so, out of nowhere. Mew comes sprinting towards you on all fours. She reaches forward and slashes at you with a claw, ripping into your arm, and you take four points of damage. And I say, ow! That really hurt. And then I cast calm emotions on her. Holy oh, fuck balls. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, can you read calm emotions to me? You attempt to suppress uh, strong emotions in a group, uh, each in a 20-foot radius. Sphere centered on a point you choose within range must to make a charisma saving throw. A creature can choose to fail this saving throw if she wishes. Okay, wishes. she doesn't wish at this time, but- uh, Did you ask her? <laughs> <laughs> she, she's not here. Um, <laughs> If a creature fails the saving throw, choose one of the following two effects. You can suppress um, any effect causing a target to be charmed or frightened. Can I suppress her werewolfism? Uh, you can give it a shot. That'd go ahead. Really cool. Go ahead and make a charisma saving throw, Courtney. Uh, The suspense, what'd you get? 11. What is 11? It? Yeah, what is your uh, spell, uh, what is your spell attack? Or your spell DC, Court? Or, uh, I mean, 14. Uh, 14, okay, so calm emotions. It only lasts a minute, so I'm gonna have to leave you. I'm so sorry. I don't blame you. <laughs> <sighs> a creature can choose to fail the saving throw. You can suppress any effect causing a target to be charmed or frightened. Alternatively, you can make a target indifferent about creatures of your choice that it's hostile to. Okay. <laughs> That's some subtle racism shit right there. <laughs> so I'm assuming you're gonna make her indifferent to you is what you're trying to do? And my buddies. I was gonna see if, I mean, you can suppress any effect causing a target to be charmed or frightened. If I can bring some sort of consciousness. She's neither charmed nor frightened. Okay, cool. Yeah, indifferent between, but from me and my, my good old buddy buddies. Okay, so, um, I don't know. How do you cast spells, Olga? <laughs> that was such a good question. What does that look like from you? <laughs> Uh, I just like give a really good pep talk. <laughs> I know you're feeling really bad right now, but you can take this on. We're gonna have to leave you for a little bit, but you do this every month, right? You're gonna be fine. All right, good talk, break. And then I run back. <laughs> okay. Run back to my friends and I run past them. And so, I'm like, we gotta go. <laughs> Mew, Mew, you, you are, even though you don't have control over this situation, you are within and something within you is calming that hostile emotion you felt towards your party members and not so much that you are you don't want to attack them but you just <laughs> don't it doesn't it doesn't matter you don't care we don't so matter. you're gonna turn and you're gonna run and you're gonna dash down the mountain cool. okay. okay so she ran away from us yeah Cool. So but you I'm see, not... yeah, you see, you see Miu turn away on all fours and start running down the mountain. 
in that southeasternly direction. You guys are headed south, but she's headed off towards the side. I yell back to her. We'll find you later. Someone heal her. I'm fine. <laughs> You're not here, Mew. Confident. <laughs> What's everybody else doing? I have 29 hit points. Do you, do you want any healing? Actually, ask Amanda so. what happened. Or ask, or ask Olga what happened. Can I perform um, a healing spell on her while she answers that? Yeah. Like just like cure, cure wounds or something? Yes, this is going to count towards your spells, though. I'm no, fine with that. It's okay. only four hit points. I'm I'm down to 25 from 28. Okay. I'll wait I have, song, you to take I have, some more I have song. Can I do Song of Rest on myself? Sure. Okay. I like do a little diddly. I sing myself a song. I heal myself. Do a little diddly. <laughs> I hum a tune. What tune uh, do you hum? Just curious. Ah. Uh, never gonna give you up. Oh, that's a good one. <laughs> it's a diddly. <laughs> yeah. Um, did somebody ask me something? We, I, hey, you look like you got a big scratch. Uh, oh, yeah. yeah. You remember, uh, did, does anybody here in the group remember Milk? Do you remember her? <laughs> uh, she, I, I think it's no big secret that she is a werewolf. And it is um. apparently above this mist, a full moon tonight. What are the chances? Maybe we should have. Maybe we should have gone back in the cave until tomorrow. But unfortunately, we're here now, and she scratched me really hard and then ran away. So are you? Are you a werewolf? And I look at my arm and I go, "Am I a werewolf?" <laughs> and I get excited and I'm like, "Do you think I? Do you think I'm going to be a werewolf?" I don't know how these things work. <laughs> me, me either. I can't. I can't wait to ask her. <laughs> I mean, you you so do look a little we... bit more hairier than normal. Oh, I just. Don't know. <laughs> I just don't know in a few days, but <laughs> I should do that next time we get to the river. Um, do you think we should follow her, or should we leave her alone for a little bit? No, she's good. <laughs> Okay, I feel bad leaving her this episode, but <laughs> apparently she's gone. Yeah, she's... I'm, I'm scared she's gonna come back because I did this thing uh, where I calm people down. I went to school for it. Um, massage therapy school? Massage therapy, it's something my massage therapist taught me. And uh, it only lasts a minute. So I'm scared if she hears us, she's gonna come back. What direction did she go? Uh, that way, and I point because I don't know directions. <laughs> and right. Olga and points to the southeast. <laughs> Can we just climb a really tall tree until tomorrow? That's what they say to do about uh, bugbears. I mean, <laughs> you're supposed to bring your food up in a basket on the top of a tree so a bugbear can't. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yogi the bugbear. I learned it from that <laughs> cartoon. <laughs> Uh, maybe should we so the plan was we were gonna set up camp now I don't know how safe I feel doing that so are we trying to get away from Miyuk right now because she's feral yeah probably Mike can't you do your voice thingy and like make noise somewhere else to get her farther away from us then? Well, she's she's gone. She's very far away now with how fast I saw her running. But I'm just scared if she comes back. I don't... I don't think she's coming back. I think she's got wolf stuff to do. Isn't that what they do? The moon comes out, all the wolves get together. You know, I feel like the main thing that wolves do is kill people and we're a group of Three, four, five, five. We're a group of five, five people. And that's five things for her to do, and I don't feel, <laughs> I don't feel very confident about it. Uh, you didn't see her; she literally shed her skin off like a snake, and then was twenty billion feet tall. And I'm a tall lady, and she was very scary. And I don't know if we should just stay here. 
Me? You know, we should we should have brought those brothers up with us. <laughs> those big brothers. Those brothers. Those three brothers. <laughs> those three fucking brothers. <laughs> the fantasy McElroys. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Well, I'm a little stressed out. Miyuk, while they're talking I... about this, make a con check for me. You guys keep going. It's okay. Fun. I don't know if you can tell this, but I'm a little nervous because I don't normally see things that are bigger than me. And she was a lot bigger than me, and she had very sharp teeth. Let's start moving then, okay. right away. Let's go the opposite way. Okay. Yeah, so north, east, south. So north, back up to the top of the mountain. Huh? <laughs> You're going the literally like as much opposite as you can. <laughs> Which, which which direction did Miyuk run off in? Miyuk the went southeast. to the southeast. southeast. Yeah. Down. So we're going northwest? <laughs> can, we put, can we put... Oh, hold on. Can we put the river in between us? Yeah, you can... If you head down to the southwest, you'll be headed for that river. How do werewolves handle water? Uh, I like, don't think we know these things. anything else? Do they <laughs> doggy this paddle? Is, well, well, we gotta figure they out. They probably how. just thrash through it until they get us. It also depends think... on how fast the river is going and how deep it is. The southeast, Kyle, that was where they're explaining the southeast so was if you, what? If you look to the southeast, which is basically down to your left, she's gonna head towards the southeast. And when you were looking at the southeast, you remember there being kind of the edge of a forest. The direct south goes down to um, basically the Lurkwood, the the werewolf entrance forest. And if you go to the southwest, you're headed down towards the base, which is met by that river. So southwest, everyone? Perfect. Mm-hmm. Yes, yeah, lovely. I feel like that's very parallel. <laughs> <laughs> Olga's visibly sweating, but she's like, whatever, it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> it, we were going here. Listen, if it's we were here, if we going... if we were a fantasy pizza, <laughs> this is the slice right next to her slice, <laughs> right next to the death slice. <laughs> Listen, she's just running towards the forest with all the wolf boys. Okay, you're right. Let's go. Let's yeah. Let's not go towards the forest with the wolf boys. And, and away we go southwest in the dark. Yeah, how, da- how dare you assume? There's wolf girls there, okay. too. <laughs> Fair. So, <laughs> uh, Court, you got a 13? She did. Bentley. Yeah. All right, let's do one more. Um, the rest of you, you're headed towards the southwest. Um, what are you doing on your way down? Are you doing anything? Are you just walking? Describe to panicking. me ha- panicking. Okay, so you guys are busy panicking. Cool. I, everybody I cast, make. <laughs> I cast calm emotions on everybody again, but I don't know if I want to use it. One yeah. of my spell slots. I'm gonna be fine, guys. I think everybody's okay to not have to actually need you to cast a spell on them. But go ahead and make a survival check and a perception check. <laughs> Everybody? Yeah. Uh, everybody who's headed towards the southwest. Miyuk, what did you get on your con check? Uh, my second one? Yeah. 16. Okay. You're still blacked out. You have no idea what's going on. Yeah. yeah. Which number do you want first, Kyle? Perception or... Oh, yeah. Feed me survival. Feed me survival first, then perception. Oh, God. Where'd my d20 go? Eight. eight. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. I am getting such good stuff. Survival first. 20. Okay. Oh, fuck yeah. And then what was the other one we needed? Perception. 16. 13 plus 17. Wait, no. 16. Numbers. Okay, well, so my my survival was eighteen, okay. and my perception was fifteen. Okay, I got twelve and twenty. Tw- Jesus Christ! 20, my 20 my, perce- my perception was seventeen, but my survival was eight. <laughs> uh, I got. Oh, Pedro, what was your perception? I got sixteen, 16. for your survival. No, your- it was eleven for survival, sixteen for perception. Got it. I think you're. 
like I'm getting half of what you say. Not that it's horrible to ask, but I'm just letting you know. Okay. So, um, Paul and Reze and Mike, or Paul, Reze, and Kirkin, you guys, it's getting considerably cold. A lot more cold than it was earlier, especially as you're descending down. Um, so, oh, that's not the right dice. So you're all going to take two points of cold damage? Two? Yeah, I know. Um, somehow, uh, Garth and... Olga, maybe just they watch a lot of nature shows, but they are they're doing good. They must be using their blankets and keeping their arms in. I think like my guy might be okay because he does live at the bottom of the oh, ocean. Oh yeah, that's true. It's pretty cold there. Yeah. Olga's just got fur. <laughs> she, looks yeah. Like, she looks like Jon Snow. Oh. She's, she's wearing the Yuke's skin that she's so yeah. <laughs> 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 I, I, don't, I don't know if she wants this back. <laughs> Gross. <laughs> My human skin that I skin. Oh Not God. her fur, it's her she human wears skin. The, she wears the face as a hood. <laughs> <laughs> well, whatever you're doing, it's working. <laughs> Um, we may get a good amount of money for this, guys, <laughs> later. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, and you guys are headed towards the southwest. Correct. Okay. So if you guys are going towards the southwest, let's see. Um, no. Okay. So... You're all trekking down. Um, the path is manageable. There's... Uh, this is the one... Oh, no, no, no. I'm sorry. This is the one that uh, has slightly more snow that you're headed down. Um, so the snow is coming up to about your belly button, your midriff, as you're passing through it. It's pretty quiet tonight. Um, the mist around you obscures the sky. The smells that are permeating the air are just cold and wet kind of you smell the pines and the the douglas firs that surround you <laughs> arbor talk and then um just off in the distance all of you hear kind of a uh, crunching of snow under uh weight like a whoosh, 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 Perfect. Whoosh. Okay. <laughs> um, Me, you can make a con. Oh, what that is? Nineteen. Oh fuck. Great. Okay, go ahead. Go ahead, Garth. Oh, I was I was just gonna say like, does it sound like it's super close? Because a lot of times I find on like nighttime in the winter, sound really carries. Yeah. Um. You know, it's far enough away. You can tell that it's far enough away um, that they don't, they're probably not within eyesight. Okay. And it feels like it's behind us, or do we know the direction? In front of. In front of. The way you're traveling. Uh, let's, um, <laughs> let's, let's go to the right a little bit for a while, guys. <laughs> okay, so you want to go further towards the west. Yes. Man, Mike? You are really putting me on this. Oh, way. yeah, sorry. I was saying west. Okay. I just oh. was muted. Olga whispers, and she's just like, see what I mean? Death pizza. Next slice. Death, death pizza. <laughs> 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 okay, so if you guys are going to travel um, this way, are you making any sort of considerations while you're traveling? Hey, guys, it's, it's getting, like, real cold, and... I got hurt from the cold, and if we just keep going, we're just gonna wait. Stop, Kyle. Are we getting hurt by the elements because we're moving? If we just stood and did nothing, would we still get hurt by the elements? We'd probably die quicker because we our bodies wouldn't be moving, generating heat. Olga reaches into her uh, bag. I have two bed rolls and 
three costumes <laughs> and I just like wrap them in them. <laughs> um, like, can I give them my wrestling costumes to put on? I think I think the bed rolls would help if you wrapped them in bed rolls. I'll give them an advantage on their survival checks, but also. Yeah, that's it. Okay, Disadvantage okay. on attack roll. No, I'll, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll... <laughs> I just hold them up and I go, does anybody want these? I'm going to go without thanks. Okay, then. More for me. I have human skin. <laughs> <laughs> wow. So while you guys figure out what you're going to do and Garth suggests moving to the west, Miyuk, um... You open your eyes, and you are in a dark, like, sparsely populated with trees clearing. Um, There's snow around you. Uh, You've got blood on your right claw, I guess. Um, But you don't see signs of anyone else. So I think my first instinct is... Maybe I killed everyone. Maybe they're all dead. Maybe this has happened in the past. Oh, this is a really cool moment for me. This is a really cool moment for her. Um, I think she's going to take a look around. And Do you have enough blood on you to think that you killed five people? No, but no one's around. <laughs> Oops. Um I think she's just going to get really angry, probably like fall to her knees and probably just scream. I think that's the only reaction I would have in this moment. Okay, make a con check at disadvantage. Well. Okay, what are you guys doing? You're gonna move to the west? Cool. Okay. Everybody makes stealth checks. Oh boy. 19. Nice look. I got a 19. At disadvantage? Disadvantage. At disadvantage. Oh, okay. Good job. Good job. So my stealth was a 15 and I don't have a modifier. It's just that. Okay. Mine was six. Uh, mine was eight. (laughs) 12. What'd you get, Pedro? 17. 17, nice. Um, So, Miyuk, as you scream, you start to feel the hold, and you start to, like, feel that blackout feeling that you had where um, you feel like you weren't in control, like someone else was taking over uh, your actions, and you feel it pulse in your head, but you manage to stay sentient this time. Um, The rest of you... As you begin to move westward, <laughs> um, what are you doing, Kirkin, that's causing you to be so unstealthy in this snow? <laughs> I think I'm just worried about my clothes getting wet. <laughs> so I'm just kind of... I also have very heavy, like, chainmail armor that I think is cumbersome. Yeah, it's probably and really cold, little, too. A little loud, yeah. I'm probably complaining about the cold really loudly. Okay, well... <laughs> If you want to roleplay that, you can. If not, we can move on. Guys, it's so cold! Hey? Hey, why is no one talking? It's so cold! Yes. Uh, I'm gonna abruptly turn around and just, like, shush him. Oh, are we shushing? <laughs> okay. I offered you a bed roll, and you said no! <laughs> it doesn't go with my outfit! Uh, mm, no, no one, one can see your outfit. See hey, shh, shh, guys, shh! Hey, I have an and idea. Then... I have, I have maybe an idea. Yeah, yeah uh, we're, we're I, whispering. I feel like at some point she's gonna come to and she's gonna be alone, which is very scary. So maybe we should like carve something on the trees for her because I don't think wolves can read, but I'm pretty sure I saw Miyuk read a magazine once. So I think <laughs> she can read. So maybe we carve her some messages on the tree so she can find us later. Okay. That's, that's a good idea. I need everybody to make a strength check. Oh, <laughs> buddy. <laughs> 17. Oh, no! 
natural 20. Yes, bitch. 14. What is happening today? 16. Five. <laughs> 24. So I have very good strength, but I rolled very low. Acro- oh, no, that's acrobatics. Athletics. Am I? Okay, so as you guys are having this conversation, I imagine, um, Garth, you probably have walked up to Kirkin and have, like, tried to, like, put your hands on him and just be like, shh, we need to be quiet. We need to stop mm-hmm. talking so loud. Um, so as you do this, under the ground, these cold, brown, thorny vines come up and restrain you and Kirkin both and pull your arms to the ground so that you're on your knees and you can't move. Um, the vines just miss Rivern. Um, Olga, you seem to have no problem dodging out of the way and Reze with your rogue-like uh, reflexes you knew this was coming so you just stepped to the side and cool everybody... and that what what check was that was that strength check strength, yeah strength, oh shit. so everybody in that group go ahead and roll initiative and miyuk what would you like to do oh my god my fucking <laughs> Are you gonna rage quit and shove the dice somewhere right now? Oh my god, I got a fucking three! Eight. Anyway. It's only initiative. Oh. I got I got eleven for initiative. Okay. Uh, I got a seven. Whoa. You guys yeah. are caught off guard, so this makes sense. Uh what'd you get, uh, Rivern? I got a twenty. Okay. Except for Rivern. He knows what that means. <laughs> I saw the vines, I dodged, Riven, but then I was Riven. caught <laughs> caught unawares. Riven is so used to hiding in bushes, he knew just how to <laughs> vines immediately. I feel like Riven also like instinctually reacts to anything dangerous. He's just like, ah! <laughs> um, Miuk, what are you doing off in this clearing by yourself after you've screamed in anguish at your eternal um, curse of being a werewolf? <laughs> I think I'll probably roll perception, see if I can, like, notice anything useful, like, where I should go. Yes, roll for perception. I like this. 16. Okay. Um... Oh, I have advantage. Okay, wait. You rolled a 16? Yeah. Oh, crap. Okay. So, with a 16... Um, just beyond the closest line of sparsely, uh, spaced out trees, you see, um, two figures, and they are lupine figures. They are kind of circling around you, um, but you don't get the sense that they're trying to harm you but you can't make out exactly, you know, what they are or why they're there. You just don't feel like you're in danger because you know from your wolf instincts that given the opportunity, they probably would have attacked when you were on the ground screaming. Um, I want to call out to them because I can talk to wolves. Okay. What do you say? They respond with... Uh... Hello. But they're kind of confused as to the fact that you're, like, speaking with them. Mm. Uh, uh, I think I want to change into a wolf. You can't. I can't. Not right now. I guess I want to try to approach them. Okay. Just a heads up, we are coming close to the end of our session, but we mm-hmm. keep going. Um, okay, so as you approach them, you see um, two large wolves. Um, this wolf is as large as a dire wolf. 
but one has snow white fur and pale blue eyes, the other has dark black fur with pale blue eyes. Um, though they have a inclination towards evil, you don't sense that these two are evil, um, <clears throat> but they do kind of growl as you approach just in like a precautionary way. Mm -hmm. Why are you watching me? They will respond and say, We're hunting just like you are. <laughs> I think I'd probably laugh and just say, No one hunts like me. Oh. Okay. Oh. <laughs> On that note, flashback to the other group. Okay, um, so we have Kirkin and Garth are entangled, and we have uh, Rivern. Yes. <clears throat> you don't know where the assailant is, but you know that they are somewhere off to the left. Um because that's where you heard that sound of footsteps coming from earlier. What do you want to do? Oh. I don't know. I would feel like I would start... I don't know. Yelling? <laughs> Just asking them questions like, who are you? You're gonna yell, who are you? Yeah. They're gonna respond with, I am Natasha of the forest. What brings you here? Uh, we're just here passing through. <laughs> you mean to tell me that you're just passing through on a mountainside? Yeah, but you're trying to get the safety. <laughs> This is, sounds... Is he the only one that can see this person? He can't see her. He's just oh. yelling out yeah. to the wilderness. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm getting a response. She says, this sounds like lies. Uh, let, just let my friends go. We're, we're, just, we're not here to harm anybody. What incentive do I have to let them go? Mm. Uh, you can uh, you can keep the whiny one. Wow. <laughs> Good. Good. I want to stay here. She says. We all knew who it was. That's <laughs> she Thanks. says. I don't need to keep anybody. I'm simply protecting my land. Well, we're not here to harm your land. All people are here to harm the earth. She's not wrong, you know. <laughs> I don't know. I'm recycling by wearing my friend's skin. <laughs> <laughs> so, be <laughs> <with> for yourself. <laughs> Give me one reason I shouldn't condemn all of you to an early grave. We've been dealing with a lot of these people. <laughs> these give, these give me one reason people. I'm getting so sick and tired of these give me one reason people. Fine, give me Are, are you saying that reasons. out loud? <laughs> yeah, I'm saying it out loud. I'm sick, so sick and tired of these give me one reason people. Like, lady, give, what do you mean? Give us one reason. What do you mean give you one reason? I'm so tired of this one reason bullshit. What do you well, mean? Oh, guys, just making eye to? contact with everybody. <laughs> <laughs> Look who you're talking to. You're talking to a bunch of idiots who don't know what to say to you, and we're just sitting around with our thumbs up our asses trying to figure out what to do. We just want to get down the mountain. I don't understand. What do you mean give you one reason not to kill us? We just want to go down the mountain. I know. 
I know I'm being restrained by vines, but I'm doing whatever I can to lean away <laughs> from him. That's, uh, lady, that's the whiny one. If you want to go. <laughs> here's, here's your one reason. You may have this reason. That's him. That's the one you can keep. <laughs> she says, I think that's the first honest answer I've heard out of you guys the whole time. <laughs> And then that's the end of the episode.